Darrell King was the intended receiver, and that was Darnell Stanton who was with him all the way. Well, Darnell Stanton is the wide, he was a wide receiver last year, moved to a defensive back. He's a nickel back. He has a knack for man coverage and watching break on the ball. He's just behind on the play, but he got his right hand up just far enough to deflect the ball away from Daryl King, number nine. People are trying to yell for face masking. I don't think that's face masking on Darnell State. He was really watching his eyes, wasn't he? Cornell West comes into the backfield, number 11. Vargas on third down. Thompson now running for his life. 30 and he gets taken down hard at the 32 again it is Stanton who comes up to make the stop and he will be short of the first down it's interesting that Chris Alt has decided on Chris Vargas here in the first half because he didn't think he'd play until the second half he said I watch Fred Gatlin and I I know when he's in his comfort zone and if he's in his comfort zone I'll stay with him so he must feel like he needs to generate something with Chris Vargas right now well you see coach all talking with both quarterbacks as you look at the deep back number 84 Slachik and again Bowling Green will put 10 men at the line of scrimmage are they coming after Lester or not I think they'll go after him this time Last time they had the return on it, it was a 29-yard kick. Okay. And they are, they're coming after it. Right at the middle, it's blocked, and is picked up at the 10, at the 5, and they're going to say it's down at the 20-yard line. It's Burris, number 3. No touchdown, but it is first down at the 20-yard line for Bowling Green. Burris did both, blocked it and picked it up. On the last punt, they kind of sized up Nevada and fair caught and had a return on. But when you're kicking into this win, Ron, you're not going to get a return. So you might as well go block the kick. Ken Burris, number three, just comes free from the outside. He stretches out, takes the football right off the foot of Steve Lester, number 18. But you see, he's kicking into a win, so you know you're not going to get a return. So you might as well go for the punt block. And it pays off for Bowling Green. Now I look for him to go for a home run here on first down. Darius Card comes into the backfield along with uh, Jackson. And it's Jackson right up the middle. Tries to spin off the tackler. Todd Norman, and he'll make the stop. Let's clarify one thing for people that are saying, well, why couldn't he pick it up and run with it? When he, when he gained possession of the football, he had a knee or knees down. Therefore, no forward progress can be made. He was the down. The ball had bounced, and he had come up and gotten it. Then he could have returned it. Yeah, he was down. You're right, Ronnie. He had possession. Good call by the official. 21 to 3. The Falcon was a Golden Green lead. We are now under five minutes until halftime. Zeb Jackson gets to the outside, has a block from Slitchak at the five, and touchdown, Bowling Green. Well, he got a great block from Norman Hamu, number 73. Boy, Bowling Green's offense is just so powerful tonight. Give to Zeb Jackson, the key block by number 73, Norman Hamoud, and then speed to the outside. A good block by Slaycheck again on the outside. Number 84 used that 6-4 frame to block and, and spring Zeb Jackson for the touchdown. Zeb now 13 carries, 89 yards, and his second touchdown. As Lieber tries to put him up by 25 points. And he does. So we'll take a break. The Falcons 28 and Nevada 3. To achieve your ultimate potential, Nordic Track proudly offers Nordic Flex Gold, the newest idea in strength training that is five ways better than Solo Flex. Nordic Flex Gold has linear motion to accurately simulate free weights. Solo Flex uses a less effective arcing motion. Nordic Flex Gold has isokinetic resistance to match your natural strength curve for maximum results. With Solo Flex, the resistance is dictated by the stretch of a rubber band. Nordic Flex Gold's isokinetic resistance also gives you speed. There are no steel plates or rubber bands to change between exercises, so your changeover time is up to 40% faster than Solo Flex. Nordic Flex Gold provides detailed workout instructions with a comprehensive manual, wall chart, and full length video. And best of all, Nordic Flex Gold costs one-third less than Solo Flex. 
Call now to order your Nordic Flex Gold, the ultimate strength training machine for the ultimate body. For you in December from ESPN. Trust, it's the flashing 11, then a lashy 10. Thumbs are crashing 9, Broncos flashing 8, Ford and slashing 7, Skiers dashing 6, Golfers cashing 5, Bumps and Dings. More skating turns. Great big flip sports centers too. And the ball reaches start the new year. Have a ball this holiday season on ESPN. I would like to remind you to stay tuned to ESPN tonight for our extensive coverage of college basketball. It will continue. The Pepperdine Waves take on the Montana Grizzlies tonight at midnight Eastern time. It is 9 o'clock Pacific time. Pepperdine and Montana. Mike, let me give you a couple of numbers that say a lot about this man's football team. Here are their drives. Eight plays, 80 yards, touchdown. 13 plays, 80 yards, touchdown. 16 plays, 81 yards, touchdown. Two plays following the block punt, 21 yards, and a touchdown. They're just controlling the whole game, but you have to remember this team, Nevada, is used to coming from behind. We'll, we'll chronicle some of those comebacks that they've had in the last few years. It's just been unbelievable. And the comeback kid is number 10, Chris Vargas. He needs to get hot for Nevada. You know, the other point to make, they may not get the ball one more time this half, but in those plays alone, they've already had it 39 times. Michael, at this rate right here, that would be 80 offensive plays. You'd like to have that as a coach, wouldn't you? Oh, geez, I'll tell you, just control the game. And the other problem for Nevada is they're throwing into the wind a little bit, although I don't think it's that much of a wind that will affect them here in the second quarter. But Cornell West has gone back as a deep safety, replacing Singleton, who was shaken up. Here comes Cornell. It's a little sideways at the 15. It's George Johnson again. George did a little bit of everything tonight on the special teams. Another great job that's happening for Gary Black and his team is Paul Ferraro, the defensive coordinator, holding the Nevada team to 78 yards, total yards, while Bowling Green has knocked off 257 yards. Well, remember, one of their losses was to Ohio State. They had six turnovers in that ball game. Mike, they held the Buckeyes to 234 yards, and that game was at Columbus. Chris Alt told me that John Cooper told him he thought Bowling Green was one of the best 25 teams in the country. Top 25. Gatlin back in at quarterback, and they go with the draw. Two yards, maybe three. That's Cornell West, who will take it out to the 21-yard line. Well, Nevada's not going to win this game running the football, but you have to keep Bowling Green honest because you have to keep Kevin O'Brien, 48, from just rearing back and rushing the passer like Charlene talked about. He said, I'm going to rush him 60 times tonight. I think she may be underestimating it a little bit. <laughs> O'Brien, a senior from Sterling Heights, Michigan, 6'4", 230 pounds. Short drop and a quick out pass, and that one was behind Reeves. And Gatlin really took a shot, and that was a short drop. That was not even a five-step, was it? Three-step drop, and, and you know sometimes when a quarterback, you just want to hit him. You want to knock him down. Uh, you want to make sure he knows that when he goes back to throw, he's going to get hit. Here's the throw, there's the hit. Didn't sack him, but you're continuously punishing him throughout the football game. Body blows. That was Riding House, the senior from uh, Stowe, Ohio. We talked about Jeff in the opening tonight. Diedrich Holmes comes back in at running back for Nevada. Third down, the line to make is the 28-yard line. Gatlin hit from behind, and guess who? Kevin O'Brien, and that's the third time that they've sacked him tonight. Well, Charlene talked about Kevin O'Brien and talked. She talked to him yesterday. He talked about how he likes to rush the passer. But he does a nice job here going inside. Look, he starts outside, now inside. There's the switch, and now he comes off the switch block, never gives up, and makes the tackle on Fred Gatlin, number one. Gets off the block pretty quickly. Can't block him in the Mid American, the coaches told me. Can't block him in any league, I believe. Third punt of the night. The first one, the 29 yards. The second one was blocked. I'd go after this one again. They come in after him, and he barely got it away. Slaycheck will run away from it. He gets a good bounce here. 